Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's video I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing of a new locomotive that I've got. So without further ado let's take a look at what I have. So what I have here is a Backman model and it's a class 47 in BR green and if I just show you the end of the box so the product number is 32804 class 47 diesel the number is d1572 and it's in br two-tone green um, this is a dc model at the moment but i do plan to get um, a sound chip for it and uh, this is a locomotive that i got from mark at stanover model railway and what i'll do is leave a description and a link to his channel at the bottom of this video. So uh, if you could go over to his channel and subscribe or put a comment on his latest video, that would be great. And I'm sure that he would really appreciate your support. Right, so let's crack on with opening this up. So my thoughts on going for some BR green locomotives was that uh, the top section is going to become a little bit of a heritage line. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is some of the places that I go to visit and the places that I have visited so far, I'm going to um, do some, uh, take some pictures, sorry, and uh, do some videos of all the little sort of locations that I go to and then use some of those and incorporate that on the top section of my layout. So that's going to become um, a bit of a heritage line. And to start off the heritage locomotives, I wanted to get some BR green locomotives. And this is the first one. So it's a slightly older Backman model, but it's my first uh, Backman Class 47. Uh, the other uh, back, um, Class 47 that I have is um, a Lima model. So this is a massive upgrade for me on having a Backman model. Um, it's got um, lighting, so that can be switched on and off from underneath. And it looks like it's all wheel pickup as well. So I'm going to pop this down on the track and uh, let's have a little closer look. So I just thought I would add this into the video. This is the back of the box for the class 47. And if you would like to kind of pause the screen and have a little read about the brief history of the locomotive, um, feel free to do so. Um, I just thought I would add this in in case anybody was a little bit unsure on any of the history for the 47. So here it is down on the track. And currently it can only run on this line because this is my only line for DC at the moment. Um, when I do get it um, sound fitted and up to DCC, then I'll be able to run it up on the top line. Uh, but for now, it will just run down on the bottom here. I say for me, this is a really nice model. And uh, when Mark showed it to me, I was really excited to get it. These came in the post a few days ago. It still has its detailing pack in the box. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, having this run on the layout. So let's have a quick test and just see how it performs. So here we go with the running session for the 47.
So another great addition to the fleet and another loco that I'm looking forward to running in the future. And I definitely think with a bit of a sound file on it and having it run on the DCC section, it's going to go pretty well. Um, under DC, obviously, it's a little bit more noisier than what they are normally under DCC. But uh, yeah, perfect little runner. Going to give it a little bit of a service just to make sure it's all uh, nice and clean underneath and inside the motor and stuff. But uh, yeah, another fantastic addition. And uh, look forward to having another running session with it. So take care, everyone. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.